welcome to Ending the Day with God on Friday the 27th of January. Ending the Day with God in this season of Epiphany. And we opened with Philip Stopford's Do Not Be Afraid. Light of the world, shine in our darkness today. Where there is pain and sorrow, may the brilliance of your love bring joy. Where there is sickness and suffering, may sunshine come after the storm. Where there is greed and corruption, may your radiance scatter the shadows. Where there is hatred and bitterness, may your brightness dispel the clouds. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, rise again upon us, we pray, and illuminate the darkness of the world through your life-giving grace. Amen. The whole earth is covered with the darkness of sin and despair. Arise, shine, for our light has come. The Lord's glory is rising upon us. The people of the earth are wandering in deep darkness and confusion. Arise, shine, for our light has come. The Lord's glory is rising upon us. The nations of the earth and their leaders will come to the light of Christ as they see the brightness of his dawn. Arise, shine, for our light has come. The Lord's glory is rising upon us. Tonight we continue our exploration of the person of David, reading this evening from the second book of Samuel, chapter 12, various verses. The Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bore to David, and it became very ill. David therefore pleaded with God for the child. David fasted and went in and lay all night on the ground. On the seventh day the child died. Then David rose from the ground, washed, anointed himself and changed his clothes. He went into the house of the Lord and worshipped. He then went to his own house and when he asked they set food before him and he ate. Thanks be to God. And now this evening's reflection. David's behaviour seems to defy all normal human sentiment. He fasts and prays while the infant remains alive, but as soon as the child dies, he appears to act as though nothing had happened. When his servants query this unusual behaviour, his response is that he had been pleading for God to spare the child. With the baby dead, such prayers and fasting no longer serve any purpose. Logical though that may be, it strikes now as it did then as incredibly cold. Bathsheba mourns the death of her child, while David seems impervious. Yet neither does he follow the course of many who have prayed in extremity, but then ceased to do so afterwards. For far from disowning the God who has failed to grant his request, one of David's first actions on ceasing his lament is to go and worship. We can spend all our lives seeking to understand both the scriptures and human behaviour. Yet David's reaction still perplexes us. How can he care so much for the life of the child and yet not mourn its death? Yet, perhaps the message is that attempting to fully understand how other people process loss and bereavement is futile. David's behaviour, complicated by both adultery and murder, is not something to analyse. Maybe instead, we need to focus on a much clearer message that the story contains, that despite this most tragic sequence of events, adultery, murder and death, David and God are far from finished with one another. 
and through that divine and human cooperation, God's purposes for Israel and for humanity will continue to roll forward. Lord, thank you that no matter how far I fall, I can never fall out of your loving arms. Amen. We now say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who by the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ dispelled the darkness of the world and gave light to all peoples, protect us as the darkness descends and keep us ever in your light and continue to enlighten our lives by your great glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The glory of the Lord shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path, that you may ever walk in his light. Amen. Amen.